Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another vlog. Uh, today I'm with Semi again and I'm Hey, what's up? <laughs> and I'm taking him to the up garage here in Albadai, which is about an hour away from Shibuya by train on the Den and Toshi line. I'll just quickly show you, we're actually behind it right now. We're just making our way to walk around through the back into their car park. Anyway, Semi just wanted to go check it out, see if there's any parts there to get for himself, me or any of the guys back at the garage who are working their asses off stressed out because we're not there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's go see if there's any fully sick JDM stuff there. And then after that, we're going back home because a whole stack of wheels just arrived for one of our customers and I can't wait to unpack them and show them to you because they're fully JDM sick, bro. Anyways, let's get to it. There's a really nice like Drifter S13 here. So a lot of people ask, what does the Japanese number play with the red line through it mean? Um, just quickly, what that is, is that means that this is a temporary registrated car so that it's got a temporary registration until it goes and passes the shuken, um, it, like test, which is where they just check and make sure it meets all the requirements, it's roadworthy, and then once it gets that tick and seal of approval, then it gets real registration and it's all good to go. So this is the staff car park, and this is where, um, as well as customers park their car that are gonna get some work on, like tire changes and stuff. So there's an R34 parked right here, which has just got some serious gear on it. Yeah, four door. Um, and then there's a really nice S15 here, but we can't walk too far in here because this is where customer cars are parked and staff cars are. But yeah, there's a cool S15 and an R34. They're normally here all the time, so I think they're staff. Factory Laurel. That'd be from like the first series. Huh? My man, Fred Pio. All this fully sick JDM drink trays everywhere. Come on. Hit us up if any of you guys want any of this stuff. We ship worldwide, don't we, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. Stacks of secondhand exhaust parts and stuff here. If anyone wants any wangs, just uh, they've got plenty here. Lots of suspension. Let's have a look at these secondhand clutches here. Nismo Z33 clutch, copper mix, twin plate. Some Honda DC2 V18 pistons and Conrods. And then just heaps of other like cool used parts and stuff. JZA80, 2JZ GTE head. Oh, this is the non VVTI head from a 2J. Damn. That's awesome. These are actually kind of rare these days. It's really hard to find a non VVTI head. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's go find where Semi's at. Where is that little bugger? He's probably in the wheel section knowing him. Wheels or chairs. Oh, there he is. They got a... He's FaceTiming right now with the boys at the garage seeing what they want. And then pretty much here is just wheel heaven. It is just non-stop. All the different kinds of wheels you could ever imagine and want to get. So many different offsets and sizes and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is a really good place to look for a genuine good set of wheels. Uh, for instance, like there's a really nice pair of 18s here of VBS wheels, and there's another nice pair over here. Um, that's not a stagger set, that's just 7.5 all round. Um, so that's a pretty standard offset for those. And they're only going for like roughly around $2,000 Australian or like $1,800, $1,900 USD. So that's a really good price for a genuine pair of VBS wheels. And then it just kind of like goes on. There's a few brands you won't know about. Then there's like Volk Racing, Rays and all the other like really decent brands of wheels. Like for instance, look at these really nice rays. They're like 900, uh, they're about $1,000 Australian and about 900 USD. But um, these would be perfect on like a little Honda. And you can tell the person that previously had them was melting his tire heaps. So he was probably a grip runner or something. But yeah, they're 7.5 wide and they're 16 inches, so. 
Check out these 10 inch star sharks, guys. Literally 10 inch star sharks, and they're going for like $300 Australian. This is freaking hilarious. I have no idea what car these would see, but that's freaking funny as. So this gearbox is out of a SXE 10 six manual. So if I'm, correct me if I'm mistaken in the comment section, but I think this is for um, the beams motor, the 3S GTE. No, I could be wrong there. I'm not 100% sure on those. Some other gearboxes here. Uh, this is an RA25. There's another one here that's like filthy dirty that I don't want to touch. There's no label on it yet. R180 diff. LSD centers here as well. Toyota airbag suspension, holy hell. And stacks of coilovers here. Damn, look at these brake kits. They're freaking huge. Look at the size of these Central i 20 endless brake kits. Holy hell, this is awesome. These are huge. Uh, more other huge big brake upgrade kits and whatnot. Damn, look at the size of these buggers down here. Holy hell. That is humongous. Ideal eight part brakes. Holy flip, look at the size of this rotor. I don't even know what that would suit. That's insane. So we're just getting this Recaro S2 for one of the boys at the garage. He needs it for his 180SX. So we're gonna get that shipped back to my house and then throw it in a shipping container and send it back to Oz. Check out this slammed as hell crown. Thing's pretty crazy. The plates, they set them like that so people can't see them. So he's probably into some crazy stuff. It's a Gloria. Oh, it's a Gloria, is it? So it's RV25. No, it'll be a VQ35. And bazooka style exhaust as well. And yeah, they put their plates up like that so that they kind of can't, no one can really tell what their numbers are, but at the same time, they can't really get in trouble because their plates are on there, but they can get in trouble if the cops pull them over and like, why are your plates like that kind of thing. That's Oh, it does have our name on it, Sam's. That's a pretty cool S13 drift as well. This guy's obviously into drifting. It's pretty nice. <coughs> Roll caged up as well. Looks pretty sick. He's got shirts tucked in on the back of it. Side, side exit. Side exit exhaust down there too. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Oh, he's got a little TV screen there too. Nice. Also, R34 four door right here. <coughs> yeah, I saw that. R34 four door. Nice car as well. Another four door R34. Locked diff. This guy's into sliding. That low life, right? <coughs> okay, so we are finally now back home and uh, it is wheel day today. So a bunch of wheels have rocked up for a particular customer um, who was just chasing like the perfect set of works wheels, um, like VSSs, uh, sorry, the VSSs and then the VSXXs. And uh, essentially he's just um, getting most of these rebarreled and lipped and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is everything that he wanted for his build. Um, so I'm super pumped about getting all of these for him and being able to get them for such a good price as well. Um, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna unbox all of these and I'm gonna check them all before I um, send them off to be put in our shipping container. But before we get to the wheels, I wanted to show you guys something that I just got for myself, which is this here. Now I don't know how many of you guys are hockey fans, but if any of you guys are hockey fans, you'll appreciate these. So, um, uh, just a while ago, I was skating with my old Eastern Synergies, and um, I guess because of the weather and me transporting them from Australia to Japan, uh, the ends just completely shattered and fell to pieces when I just went skating recently with them. So I had to get a new pair, and I thought I'd go all out. There was a end of year kind of Black Friday sale happening on um, Hockey Monkey, and I was able to pick up these um, Mako version two Easterns. So it's like all carbon fiber and all that stuff. So I'm super pumped about these and uh, just to keep 
because uh, my old skates lasted me like 11 years. So I brought the laces over from those onto here. Um, these were not the original laces on them though, they were just a, a pair of wax laces that I picked up. But yeah, I'm super keen for these and can't wait to get them sharpened and try them out. I'm also going to be getting into hockey again here in Japan, so I'm super pumped about getting back into the sport as well. Um, so yeah, is that happening? So anyways, I thought I'd show you guys that if any of you guys are into hockey, so I might do some hockey vlogs later on, maybe later on this year. Um, but that's that. So these guys are getting sharpened up and I'll try them out probably next week. Anyways, maybe let's start with the ones at the back, shall we? Because these are pretty easy. I can just show you the top of them and cut right through the middle. All right, sweet. So these are Works VSSS's, and um, now these are going to be getting rebarreled, obviously. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're 17 by nines. Um, they're really beautiful set. Uh, they do have the center caps, but they do have obviously paint fleck and stuff like that. That's not an issue because these are two-piece wheels. When you um, disconnect it to rebarrel it, you just send this off to get powder coated, and uh, yeah, you just pretty much get a brand new set of wheels out of it. And uh, you, you can save yourself a lot of money getting those really big offsets with uh, rebarreling and stuff. So he's done really well for this pair. This other pair here. Crack these bads up, boys. Open now. These are VS XXs. <coughs> awesome. Here we go. Boom town. So these are the VS XXs, and yes, they have a nice bit of bling to them. Looks like at some point these were actually re-chromed the center. They look really nice. Um, minimal gutter rash here, but as I said, these are all getting rebarreled, so that's not a problem for the customer. And uh, he was just looking for, you know, the best that he could get in the right sizes that were perfect for him to rebarrel. Um, and as I said, if he did want to repaint this or repowder coat it, it's as simple as um, when he gets them rebarreled and the wheels are apart to just send the centerpiece off. So that's going to look sick. All right, now let's move to these ones. So these two are just pairs. These two are just pairs. This one's a full set, so I'm just going to open the two top boxes for you and show you what they are. Boom, down. So straight away you can see these ones are a lot bigger um, and they're the same as obviously the smaller 17 SS's, um, but they've got a lot more dish. Um, yeah, so these uh, do have, once again, uh, minimal gutter rash, not too bad gutter rash. Oh, here's a bit of a bad gutter rash, but this doesn't matter because this piece is coming completely off and a whole new piece is getting put on that's going to be a lot wider and a lot longer. Um, so there's not a problem there. And uh, yeah, whatever cover he, color he chooses, he'll get that repowder coated. And these are, this is a staggered set, so the rears are actually wider um, than the fronts on this particular set here. And there we go. So yeah, as you can see, 18 inch, once again, fair bit of gutter ash. Um, but yeah, that's all getting rebarreled. And uh, you can see the offset is much smaller. So if I just put that down so I don't kill myself, offset ends about here. And if we go over to here, the offset's a lot deeper by about an inch. If you can see that the offset's about an inch deeper on this one compared to this one. All right guys, so these are all the wheels that I'll be sending out this week to our container to be packed and shipped over to Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, so just to quickly uh, go over everything, so 18 inch works VSSS is here, these two here, uh, that's a full set. And then um, you've obviously got your 17 inches here, you've got a pair of another VSSS and then VSXXs here. Um, so yeah, fully genuine works wheels and uh, I can't wait to see or hear back from the customer and, and what he thinks about them and I can't wait to see what he's going to do with rebarreling them and changing the color of the centers and whatnot. Um, his ride's going to look fully sick. Um, so that's it for everything that's arrived. Tomorrow we do have some cool stuff coming. Uh, obviously we we're just at Up Garage today um, so we're going to be seeing um, some stuff coming from there. Um, so obviously today we're at Up Garage, which means we're gonna see some stuff arriving uh, probably at the end of this week, which will be a, um, I think it was a VS2 Recaro seat, 
and then some broadways and things like that just to go back home for the boys at the garage. Um, but otherwise, that's it for today's vlog. Uh, Semi's here playing some Xbox and some Battlefield 1 just to kill the time. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Ciao, matane. Come on.